pero talaga malungkot yung film and from the beginning ba si Bella yung Be, 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 when I when I uh, when I finalize the concept of Manita, because that's kind of my style also. When I when I finally have a script, when I finally have the story, that's when I think of an actor. And once I had that, I've always wanted to work with Bella. And I said, female sniper. See, yeah, maybe sh this is something she might want to dive into. And uh, yeah, so she was from the get go an actress that I've always wanted to work with, and an actress that I finally got to work with. And I hope to work with her again. We're actually talking about concepts now, so hopefully we can do something. Again, different. Uh, maybe next year. So it was her from the beginning. It was her. Yeah, it was. It was Bella. Uh, Bella all the way. Ah, boss, meron kang napagawa mo sa kanya. Pinipin ko first time yung ginawa ever in the film. And I think that's what probably attracted her to the project. No, uh, you know, coming from a lot of Hugot films, she was able to do something now also a little bit out of the box. Mas may scene nga dun na medyo nagshot na digo siya at may na may na expose. How were you able to convince her to gawin yun? Well, you know, Bella's uh, super collaborative, and the things that I've asked her, of course, if she tells me no, I'll respect that. But oh, oh, lang no, oh. I think you'll have to ask her naman about that scene, oh, but, and I yeah. don't want to reveal too much. But it's just basically part of the character. It was part of uh, just the, the natural progression of what happens in life. So it, parang it, it's a scene that needed to be there. Hindi naman naging big deal sa kanya. Hindi naman, hindi, naman, hindi naman big deal. I mean, she, she, she was already embodying Edelberta Albert at that time, so I think. Uh, there was really no issue with, with her. And if she told me no, I would have respected that also. I'm, I'm not here now to force actors to do things they don't want to do. Uh, I will never do that. And yung, uh, yung pag-inom niya ng beer. Uh, bakit? <laughs> ano yung, what's the, the, the story behind the pagiging alcoholic? Naman? Well, uh, there was two things. Obviously, one, she was lonely. She was depressed. She, just lost, she was just dismissed from the army. And number two, it was also because to hide the pain. Ang sakat din ng kiloid. So, I guess to numb herself. Alcohol was one of, I guess, it's a cheap way to kind of forget the pain for the night. And naging part na naging naging addict na siya, naging alcoholic na siya. Na eventually it became part of her life. Na. But yeah, it was, and she was drinking real beer. So. <laughs> oh, at tapansin ko ang dami na inum na pale. Yeah, Wala siya inum na light ha. Yeah, she wants strong beer. It's very <laughs> like strong beer. She's a strong woman. Strong beer. <laughs> Wait, so based on your research, you got talaga medyo na ano sila sa alcohol? Yeah, it numbs the pain. I mean, obviously, it's medicine would be the better alternative, but sometimes it's expensive, you know. So you know, they just uh, <laughs> drink their uh, pain away, na lang, parang ganon. No? So that was kind of <laughs> the decision we made. <laughs>